There's sort of a personal calm I find when I paddle through the marsh. There's absolute quiet. The only sound you hear is the paddle dipping in the water. I can find personal calmness there that I can't find anywhere else. My name is Gordon Goldsboro. I'm a wetland ecologist at the University of Manitoba. I've been working here at Delta Marsh since about 1980, so the vast majority of my career has been spent here at the marsh. Delta Marsh is a very large coastal wetland. Uh, a coastal wetland is a body of water adjacent to another large body of water. Uh, as far as we know, here in Manitoba, it's the second largest coastal marsh in the province. You know, I remember when I first started coming here as a student, there were lots of plants in the water, uh, but in the last few years, they've all disappeared. So even in the, say, the relatively short time frame that I've been here, um, the marsh has changed. It's not really what I would consider a marsh anymore. Uh, it was a large, muddy bowl of water. We decided we would tackle what we thought was perhaps one of the major contributors to the decline of the marsh. That was the common carp. It's what we call a bottom feeder. It, it picks up mouthfuls of mud off the bottom and it sifts through that mud, picks out the little insects that it eats as its food, and then it blows out the rest. And so the net result is the water turns murky because of the carp. We basically put in some small screens that were just large enough to keep out the carp and we prevented the carp from getting in. We've seen all over the marsh, not just in parts of the marsh where we had expected to see improvement, but vast areas of the marsh, we have seen now dramatic growth of submerged plants. We have seen plants in areas that we haven't seen them in at least 30 years. You know, so the remarkable thing is that when you get the plants coming back, it's a whole cascading series of other changes. The other organisms that live in amongst those plants come back as well. And that's, I think, a very convincing sign that the marsh as a whole is recovering. So what I'm hoping will happen is that the research we've done here will translate all over the province, will translate all over the country, hopefully will inform management of wetlands all over the world. And that in turn will make for healthy marshes that benefit us all over the place, not just here at Delta Marsh. I have so much history here myself. It was because of Delta Marsh that I became who I am. I really feel that there's some closure here, that I can see th that the marsh is recovering because I have seen it degrade. And, and it's, it is enriching to think that perhaps in some small way I have had a part in that. Mm -hmm.